Aloha and happy Sunday, folks. You got Aniela here. I am a coach with the Be With Your Twin Flame program, and I'm here to talk to you folks today about physical pain or sensations you might be feeling um, in your physical body on this journey, and this may be you. So I'm gonna be talking today a little bit about what happens with a lot of folks. It's very normal, very common, and very par on this journey to find yourself on the twin flame journey and start experiencing body pains um, just out of the ordinary types of things and I'm gonna I'm gonna talk a little bit about that today because when you find you're on this twin flame journey of course you're out here you're looking for help and a lot of times it's because once we are on this journey the things that happen to us in the physical body just in the physical world can be so mind-blowing at times that of course we're going to be looking on the internet we're looking for help we're looking for things that will help us to push us in the right direction and know what might be happening with us and and there's something called resonance folks so you know when we're in that place and we're looking for help it doesn't necessarily mean that everything that's out there that may or may not be happening to you that you're googling that you're looking up on Bing and all those other browsers that it may or may not be happening to you but it's something you resonate with uh, when I found myself on this journey several years ago there was a, a, a gal named El Hari that used to pop up all the time on my feet. I don't know why. It just would pop up. And I started to listen to her videos. She's a beautiful woman. If you've seen Elle, of course, you know she's a beautiful woman. But when this woman started to speak, I had no idea exactly what she was talking about, but I knew what she was talking about. And that's called resonance, folks. So this may or may not apply to you. If it doesn't, do not worry everyone's journey is unique and individual but I can tell you right now as a coach and being coaching for for a couple years now I know that this happened to a lot of people not just myself as for me when I found myself on this journey a few years back several years back I started to go through things and this may or may not be you but many people start to feel very odd different or out of the blue uh, headaches when we're talking about headaches folks we could ha we could be saying you know maybe it's not one that you would experience all the time but people start to get frequent frequent migraines and um, just headaches that they're not really sure of they start to feel in their bodies sometimes they start to feel sensations and almost I you know for a lack of better word um, although we are talking about energy they actually feel like there's energy pumping through their body they they do they go through appetite changes they go through a lot of um, significant weight gain or weight loss a lot of people tend to 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 head into that direction um, there they have things that's happening with their skin <laughs> that I can relate to that I'll talk to in just a couple moments about that just isn't nor for them it's not quote-unquote normal they start experiencing these things and they don't know what is going on and it you know for lack of a better word it starts to freak them out and I'm speaking from experience when I found myself on this journey a few years ago I was going through a very rough time you know we all do it's it's part of life we we all do we go through things and and whatnot and I I didn't even know at the time that I was on this journey you are always on this journey it's just that there's gonna be a point in, in in your timeline that you know you're on this journey if you're watching this you are very very likely on this journey I didn't know at the time and I started to experience what what um, they call out in the um, medical terminology not terminology excuse me I call it layman's terms because there's a there's a medical name for it but I don't know exactly how to relate that to people so I called it 
ice pick headaches. I called it ice pick, he ice pick headaches because that's the only way I could describe what, what, what I was feeling. I was getting these stabbing pains on the side of my head in the same exact place for I don't know how long just and you're doing fine you're doing fine you're driving along you're doing you're at work you're doing fine you're at the ballpark watching your kids play their sports and all of a sudden it feels like someone was stabbing my head with an ice pick not with a knife not with a sword not with anything big just something really really tiny at the end and just stabbing is horrible pains. I myself, I started experiencing the swellings of my body, of my face. It was not due to anything that I was ingesting or eating, no diet changes at all. But all of a sudden I started experiencing these skin ailments that was unexplainable. My whole face would completely swell up, especially around the eyes. And they would go through cycles and cycles of where there was this swelling, this horrible redness, and then the shedding of the skin. There was a lot of that that was going on with me. And those two things really caught my attention. Now, folks, I will stress this. I will stress this more than anything else. See your doctor. If it's causing you to be concerned and a little bit more worried about what's going on with you, especially physically, because these things just seem to come out of the blue. See your doctor. I always stress that to my students, but this is what happens a lot of times. My students, as well as I myself, when I did see the doctor, I was being tested for numerous things, including lupus, including other autoimmune um, issues that you know, a lot of people experience. I was getting MRIs, I was getting brain scans, I was getting all kinds of things that um, medically they'll check for, they'll do their checklist and go, no, she's, this is not happening, nope, she doesn't have this. And they can't come to a determination of what it is. And a lot of times, and now, I, again, I say if this is not you and it doesn't happen for you this way, it's okay. But it happens to a lot of people. And a lot of times when these doctors cannot find medically what is the problem or what is happening with you, you know, it'll come back to psychological stress. And like I said, at the time, I was going through a very difficult time in my life. I had lost my mother and there were all these things that were happening around me so that was an easy easy bridge to to come to and go okay it's stress a lot of times the medical the medical doctors will have you um have a, a referral to see a psychiatrist or a psychologist who might be able to help you with your thoughts, with what you're experiencing and all those other things. That's very, very common. And then what happened to me as it happened with so, so many of my students, is they started to find they were on this journey and they started to process and move through learning how to balance their fear-based energy. You know, this is all energy, folks. Anything that's happening to you, everything that you see, everything that you hear, it's all energy. And when we're on this journey, a lot of times it will play out in our physical bodies as we are really straddling the line between the physical world and the spiritual world when you find yourself on this journey. So many times as it happened to me, as I started to learn how to balance my fear-based energy, I'm not saying that it's the fear-based energy itself that causes all these ailments, it's just what happens to a lot of people on this journey. But once I started to learn how to balance my fear-based energy, little by little, all these issues started to dissipate, all of them, including me having to go back every few years just to make sure because the ice pick headaches I had was so they were so difficult, they were so painful. And one of the reasons why it got my attention was because as I'm driving one day with my son, it starts to happen. And that's one of those things, that's why I say, you always wanna check with your doctors. But 
if you're finding and your doctors are finding that there's really nothing that they can determine that's causing these different ailments for you, just know it's okay. It happens to a lot of people on this journey. It happened to me. I get to the point where I know I have to go back for my doctor's visits and just do a check on all these things that were happening to me. And it's, it's gone. It's gone. Not to say that, geez, who knows? Maybe it could pop up again. But you know what? I noticed that they started to come around when I started to find myself on this journey and they started to dissipate when I learned how to balance my fear-based energy. There is so much going on under, under the radar, via your soul, that you don't really realize that there's a lot of people that come on here and look for help, especially when it comes to the physical body. So just know, folks, I'm gonna tell you right now, and I always, always stress this, if any of the medical things or seemingly medical physical things in your body that's just so unnormal, not normal, quote unquote normal, there's nothing normal about this journey, including this. If those things are occurring for you, see a doctor, make sure everything is all in check. But if they can't find it, it's okay. It's okay. There, this happens to a lot of people. And as long as you know you're doing your due diligence in this physical plane to make sure your body is healthy and well for your family, for your children, for yourself, then you're okay. Don't worry about it. You just keep plugging away. And if that's you folks and you wanna learn more about how to balance your, your fear-based energy, you go ahead and you click on that link below. We have the absolute most amazing programs out there. Like I said, before I saw any of Elle's videos, I tried other things. I didn't know, I didn't realize. And here's this beautiful gal who comes on and she starts speaking. And in my deepest parts, I know she's speaking truths because it's hidden me. It's resonating with me. I didn't understand through the mind what she was talking about, but it resonated with me. And that was several years ago and watching how this journey plays out for myself, watching how this journey plays out for my students. Oh my gosh, where you're at right now, there is help for you folks. Go ahead and click on that link. Alrighty, we're gonna send you off on this Sunday. Happy Aloha Sunday. Take care, God bless. Be safe, malama pono, and ahui ho. Bye, everybody.